let's make your editing look professional. My name is Dean Parman, you're watching TravelVids.tv and in this video I'm going to fix up your edit to make it look as professional as possible. In the last few weeks, many of our clients, our friends, our colleagues and our students have reached out to us and asked our help to make their edits look a whole lot better. And this is because many people have started changing their direction, pivoting towards a way of keeping their audience, keeping their markets alive. Video has been a super important tool in the travel industry for a long time already, but now more so than ever. And in this video, I want to introduce you to one of our students, an old colleague of mine, somebody who I used to guide with in Cape Town, and this is Steve Bolnick. Steve Bolnick is currently running a safari, and he's the head guide and the camp manager at a safari in Zimbabwe called Mana Pools. Steve has started a short documentary series, which he is sending to his clients uh, to keep the stoke of the African wildlife alive. After having taken our course, he felt the confidence that he could do this. But when he sent his first edit through, he wasn't entirely happy. Travelvids then asked Steve to send through his video, first remove the music and then send us the raw file so that we could have a look at it. I want to jump over to my computer now and show you what we did. Steve sent us his first episode, which is a short four and a half minute documentary on elephants. And you can see I've, I've dropped that whole thing into this timeline over here. That is, was one clip sent to us by him. And what I've done is I've just dropped it into this timeline and I've made sure that I've just highlighted what I wanted to point out to show you that needed improvement. So we'll start, let's just play it from the beginning and then we'll stop at the first point. Let's go in there. Okay. Straight away for me, I wasn't entirely happy that this just dives into an interview with no reference of what this is or who, who's talking. So the first thing I would do is make sure that there's an intro sequence. If it's five or ten seconds of just footage, that's fun. So in this case, I would take some elephant footage. Just even if it's a repeat of what you're going to see later in the video, it doesn't matter. I just take out a few seconds of each one, drop them in the front, um, you know, with the music, it'll, it'll sort of go, oh, we're watching elephants. And then we come into this interview and then I just put a little name sequence. It's a uh, name title. It's not always important that we have to announce who we are. In time, you might want to do that, build that in as part of your, your sequence, um, your, your talking sequence. But for now, just drop in a little name card so people know who you are, where you're from and what we're dealing with. So that would be the first thing that I would do. Let's go straight on from the end here. The African elephant must surely be the most impressive. Okay, one thing you'll notice if I play between this. And tusks in particular. The African elephant must surely okay. be the most First of all, the sound was clipped off here. Uh, he didn't finish the word. Tusks in particular. Particular, I'm missing that. So just make sure to finish off the sentences. Don't clip them off at the end. Uh, then there's this silence, dead silence. Thank you. The African elephant mushroom. And then it comes in at a whole new level and a whole new volume, which is very disruptive for the viewer. So the two things that I'm pointing out there is that there's this gap, and we'll come back to that in a bit. Uh, but more importantly for me right now, make sure that your recording space, the place where you're going to do some voiceovers, is the same space where you're talking to camera, so that the ambient sounds, the, the tones of the, of the area are the same. Also that the volume's the same. If the volume is for whatever reason not the same because the mic was there and now it's in front of you, you can adjust that. So I would definitely take this volume, as you can see over here, it's much, much higher up then over there. So we would just, depending on what we need, we would cut that one and lift this up to match that or drop the other one, depending on what we need. For those of you that don't know, you check your sound um, sort of scale over here, which you can select on, and you're aiming for something that is around minus six. That's the number that we're looking for. And so tusks in particular. You can see that. 
in tusks in particular. Bouncing up to minus six. So that's the right, uh, we'll call it room temperature audio. <laughs> okay. So make sure of the recording space and the final levels. If we're gonna move on down the timeline, we're not gonna jump through the whole thing, but you'll notice watching this thing, that it looks a little bit flat. But let's do this together and try and get an understanding of these. So what I said was add a color LUT. Now, if you don't know what a LUT is, it's basically a fancy term and a fancy system for adding a color grade over your video. Um, it's, it actually makes it very simple. You just drop it on like a filter, like an Instagram filter or something like that. I've installed something called MLUT. It's a free uh, plugin for Final Cut, but you also get uh, different types and we can look into those into another video. Let's just show you what that looks like. We go to the presets. I would drop something like this on there and then we choose a preset, something like that or that maybe. I would probably darken this out a little, add a little bit more in the shadows, even more up on the contrast. And if we play this now, and try and get in that. Look at look at the difference between that, that and that, that and that. So over here, all the textures, all the the wrinkles in the nose and the eye, all the definition pops out, and a little bit of dust on the on the cheekbone as opposed to there where it's just all flat. And so I would definitely take this LUT system and just drop a, a light LUT like this. This is nothing too extreme over the whole video, except for you don't need it like on these title cards. It, I would, so I'd make a cut like this and add it here, but not there. All right, moving on. Uh, this was just something quick, uh, filming orientation. Um, Steve ha was, hadn't gone and filmed this specifically for this documentary. He went into his archives, but obviously my note to him would be to try and in future film things that are either all upright or portrait, um, or obviously all landscape so that they, they harmonize in the edit. Uh, when you jump between things like this and this, it can be a little bit disruptive. And the only way we can fix that now is by zooming in you know, coming in like this, maybe dropping it down to just fit nicely. We've still got those post box, those color ba um, black bands on the side, which is not great. Um, but worse than that is that the, the picture is going to be all fuzzy and blurry and you obviously don't want that. So just be aware of your filming orientation, either keep it all landscape or portrait depending on your medium. If you're going to be Instagram stories and that kind of thing, or any form of stories, stick to the portrait and otherwise stick long ways, horizontal landscape. My personal preference as a filmmaker. Okay. Uh, little things. Um, okay. You'll notice this thing over here. So let's just play this. It is at the shoulder. But the legendary so-called okay that's what i call a momentum gap between the last word here and the first word there is all the space and i definitely don't need that uh, there's no n n reason for it so even we though we could use music to bridge that gap I, I would just i don't need it it slows the edit down unnecessarily so what i would do is i wouldn't even check it i'll just make a cut there and make a cut there Take that and play through. Two meters at the shoulder, but the legendary. It just that momentum. It's just going. Okay, so that's the what I mean by momentum gaps. Keep that rhythm going. What else have we got in here? No, that was pretty much it. That those were the only things that I thought needed work to just take this video to a new level to make it look professional. So well done, Steve. You did a very good job to get it to this point. The narrative, the story. It's great. Uh, the only thing at the end here, you just kind of ended. African planes. There's a little bit of a, uh, what you call title sequence here. And personally, I wouldn't put this in the video. I would put that in the description of the video at the bottom. So it doesn't have this effect, uh, unless you have lots of people to thank, like, like in a movie, but put this in the bottom, put this in the description area, um, or just a special thanks to Dean Tracy and Jonathan and and then the links see links in the description below or something like that 
And then also very importantly, add an end screen, add a call to action. If this is a new series, a travel series that you want to get people involved in, you know, when the when the lockdown comes to an end, at least you'll have uh, this people with you if you if you take them on the journey with you. And you need them to sign up. You need them to subscribe. You need them to be part of your tribe or audience to do that. So have a call to action built in the end where you say, please subscribe or please give me your email so that I can send you the next episode next week or next month or whatever it is that you're producing. All right, let's go over quickly to what I did. So this was... I, I flew through the edit quickly and I did those changes and I did those fixes and I just want to reveal them and show you what that looks like and we'll jump to the front. First things first, I added some music, which is no fault of Steve's. I asked him not to so that I could make the changes. Then let's go. This is the introduction and title sequence fix. Let's remove, remove the banner and let's go. Welcome to this, our first episode of a mini documentaries. Today we're going to be... Okay, so there straight away we, we introduced to elephants. It's like, okay, I know visually what I'm about to in, ingest. And then straight away as Steve pops up, I've got a little bit of a, a J cut going on here, which is when you preempt the audio, you can hear him. Welcome to the... Before you see him. So it, just, it starts transitioning into the new scene music drops down and there's a little title that pops in from the side just saying this is Steve Bolnick from Camp Mana in Zimbabwe or it can change it to whatever it needs to be. Then the second thing, these little uh, sound recording levels, I've shown you that in the previous place already, I just moved this up to 7 plus and that one stayed where it is so that they're both on about minus 6 and to fill the gap I left a, I brought the music up just a notch, so let's listen to that. Green tusks in particular. The African elephant must surely be... Right, you can hear the drums, they just pop up a little. They hide the fact that he clipped the end of the word as best as I can, um, but it also fills that void. Um, later we want to get rid of those gaps, but in the beginning let's let the video breathe, let, let the music and the scenery just sort of absorb you in before we get quite fast paced. So I left the gap in, I filled it with music. Then color correction, we've spoken about that already, but you'll, you'll see what I did here. Let's just remove that. That's what it looked like. That's what it added to it. So the greens popped out, the dusty colors came out a little bit more, which definitely adds a little um, sort of life to the video. It also cleans up the edges again. You'll notice all little edges they, they, they just crisper. With this lap that I picked, unfortunately, I think it's a little bit too yellow. So what I would do then is go to the yellow and just take the master yellow down a notch. Maybe not too far, otherwise the blues pop out. But, you know, that makes a difference already. That was before, that's after. Look at that. It just sucks the yellow out and, and it, it creates something a little bit more harmonic. And then the next thing, sound, momentum gaps. The thing we just spoke about, I've already shown you what that looks like when we cut them out. But if you look at the finished edit, look how many cuts I made in this thing. There, 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 there. Those were all sound gaps that needed to go, that needed to go. And what you'll notice is that the whole video is actually 20 seconds shorter just from removing a second, 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 a second. So not only does it bring the whole time down, it also keeps that engagement flowing and the information never stagnates or gets boring. And fill pictures to corner, oh, that was just something else I picked up uh, in the original, the, this picture had black bars again at the top and the bottom, which were unnecessary. So I just, I, I zoomed in on all the, on the images. And then right at the end, we are still building uh, well, Steve's still putting together his call to action page, but that come in the back here where the music comes up again. Thanks. And then we're going to say something like stay tuned for more stories or yeah, you know, subscribe by clicking here or check whatever it is. We'll, we'll get to that, but that was important to get in there. All right. 
that is uh, Steve's episode one ready to go. I'm sending that back to him and I look forward to the feedback from his current audience. I think this will this will be a great series and I look forward to how it develops and gets better and better as we go forward. If you would like us to have a look at your videos and help you get them just to that level that you've been hoping for, that professional touch that was missing, then get in contact with us. You can get more information on this as well as more free tutorials on our website, travelvids.tv. My name is Dean Parman and I'll see you in the next tutorial.